Hi, in this video we're going to try to graph this function. We have g of x equals 3x plus the absolute value of x over x. We're going to graph it, find the domain, and find the range. So obviously the thing that makes this problem look difficult is the absolute value. So we need to deal with that. So recall that the absolute value of x is a piecewise function, and it's x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's minus x if x is less than 0. So we're going to use this information to graph this. So let's do it. If, oh, first note also that x can't be 0, right? So we're only going to consider the case when x is positive or negative. So if x is greater than 0, then the absolute value of x is equal to x, right, using this condition here. And so then g of x would be 3x plus x over x. 3x plus x is 4x, right? There's a 1 here, so you just get 4x over x, so it's 4. If x is less than 0, the absolute value of x is minus x, and so g of x is equal to 3x minus x over x, which is 2x over x, which is 2. So using this information now, we can graph it over here. I'll do it here. So here's x, here's y. So for positive values of x, it's 4. Um, so basically 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to put a little hole here. And there's a hole because um, the hole is here because it's greater than 0. We're not including 0, okay? And it's going to be 4. So for all the x's over here, we just get y equals 4. So that's 4. For x greater than 0, the y values are 4, right? g of x is the y value. For x less than 0, the y value is 2. Right? Because uh, we don't include the 0 because it's less than. There's no, there's no equal to part. And then it's 2. So for all x is less than 0, for all of these x's, it's 2. So that's the graph of the function. The domain is everything except 0 because the domain is the set of all x's that give you y values. Every single x you pick here on the x-axis is going to give you a y value. I pick this one, I get a y value. I pick this one, I get a y value. Except 0. 0 does not give me a y value because I have holes. So the domain is everything except 0. So negative infinity to 0, parentheses, union 0 to infinity. That would be this piece here. That would be the domain. The range is a little bit more interesting in this problem. The range is all the possible y values. In fact, there's only two possible y values in this problem, 2 and 4. So it's the set containing the elements 2 and 4, or the numbers 2 and 4. Kind of cool, right? So very different kind of graph. Not hard. Um, great problem because you have to know the definition of absolute value, and it's just kind of fun. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.